Hi, I'm Vanessa Chumley and welcome to my backyard. I think pizzas are a fun summer dinner, so today we're making three different varieties, get this, all on the grill. I'm making a barbecue chicken and prosciutto pizza, a cheese pizza, which of course is a favorite for my kids, and then a sweet and delicious grilled fruit pizza. I just picked up everything we need from Shaw's, so let's get started. So usually when I'm making pizzas, it means I have a fun night ahead with family and friends. So I like to keep the cooking as simple as possible. For me, that means using a pre-baked crust. What I like to do is browse the artisan crusts at the store and try out a different one each time. It's kind of fun that way. So for our barbecue chicken and prosciutto pizza crust, we're gonna start off with barbecue sauce and I'm just gonna brush some on the crust. I happen to like a lot, but you can use as much or as little as you like. So check this out. When I'm on my way home and I've had a busy day and we're all starving, my go-to is a rotisserie chicken from the deli department because it's convenient and healthy. So I'll take it home and then I'll shred it up and use it on a spinach salad or on a pizza like this. It's kind of like my version of healthy fast food. And it is super delicious. So then we're gonna sprinkle on some shredded prosciutto and then just a few other toppings and our cheese and we'll be done some diced tomatoes, and then some diced red onion. Red onion pairs perfectly with the barbecue flavor, so put a little bit of that all the way around, and then also some sliced scallions. Now the red onions and scallions were already sliced up and ready to go in the fresh cut section, so since the name of the game is fast and fun, I went with those. Then our mozzarella cheese and our barbecue chicken and prosciutto pizza is ready. Now for our cheese pizza, I'm actually using a naan crust, and a naan is kind of like a crispy, chewy Indian flatbread. It's really delicious. We all know how to make cheese pizza, right? It's just the pizza sauce and then any kind of cheese that you like, such as mozzarella or provolone, romano, or a mix of all. But the cool thing about this is that if you're feeding a lot of kids or even adults, you could get several of these crusts, line them up, and let all the kids make their own. So what I like to do is put all the different ingredients in um, plastic bowls, such as sausage, pineapple, even broccoli, carrots, and then cheese, and it's kind of fun to see what versions the kids make on their own. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that what kids create, they want to gobble up. So make it a pizza party using the grill. No need for special equipment. Just move your pizza directly from the cutting board onto the grill. So we asked our Facebook fans what tips they had for cooking pizza on a grill, and James said slow and steady wins the race. So use a low temperature, that way your crust doesn't get burnt and your topping soggy. So James, taking your advice, and I'm gonna cook over indirect heat, so I'll turn the burner off directly under the pizzas and leave the opposite ones on. That way the cheese is melted at the same time the crust is crunchy. So you know your pizza's ready to be pulled from the grill when the cheese is completely melted and the crust is crunchy and golden brown. These look fantastic and I can't wait to dive in. Now I promised you a grilled fruit pizza and you can get that recipe on the website. It's gonna be the sweet ending to your pizza party. For these recipes and more great grilling tips, visit shaws.com.